Hi guys, it's Adorkable is 77 and today it's going to be an outfit of today and I kind of went hippie, chic, bohemian, vibe, inspired kind of deal. Um, let me show you guys what I mean. So I have this shirt that I wore in my Valentine's Day lookbook. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's pretty cute. Um, this white kind of see-through florally shirt is from Forever 21 and it's in their plus size section. And the belt I'm wearing is from Target. And it has these little detail like circles and brass button studs on it. And I uh, paired this beige skin toned tank top that's also from Forever 21 so that it's not like see through because I don't want people to see my tummy and stuff in my bra. Yeah. Um, and then I made this necklace so you can't buy it anywhere but um, you can go to Michael's and like get some of the jewel, uh, some like the beads, like these beads are from Michaels, these beads are from Michaels, these little brown beads are from Michaels, this stone's from like a local bead shop, local bead shop, local bead shop. So sometimes I make my own jewelry and yeah, because I have a lot of free time. And then I'm wearing this. Ooh. And then I'm wearing this vest that, believe it or not, I actually got it from a tractor like tractor supply store and you're like wondering why are you going to a tractor supply store for clothes but the thing is like my uncle gave me a gift card to this tractor support uh, tractor supply store and he shops there all the time and he's like oh they have clothes there they have clothes there and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I went shopping there for like my birthday. And you guys can see it's really frilly and flowy and it's um, like this warm beige. In the back it has lace detailing. So you can kind of see the back. And then I paired it with this teal accordion skirt that I got from Ross um, a couple of seasons ago for like three bucks. And then I have these shoes from Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> like who would know like Walmart would have cute shoes. But apparently Walmart has cute shoes sometimes. It's either Walmart or Kmart. One of the two and it's like ages ago. And then I kind of braided my hair and stuck it in the back and just let the natural waviness of my hair come out. I know, very hippie inspired. And then for the makeup, I went super, super bronze. Like, everything has like a bronze, golden, reddish tone to it. Um, like my bronzer here that I used to sculpt my face um, and contour is from NYX and it's in medium. It's their matte bronzer. And then for blush, I used a combination of two blushes. Both are matte. Um, and the first one I used is from Inglot and it's in the shade number 41. And it's a really brick red kind of tone. And the blush brush that I used to apply it applied way too much. And it was like 
whoo, cloud looking on me. So I went in with Max Prism. Because I did not want to look like a clown. No. And I put that over top and it and mimics like that natural sun-kissed glow, those two blushes together. And then for my highlight, I mixed all four shades of the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer Duo right there on my highlight. And then for my lips, I just went super, super neutral. And I used Wen Wild's Willow Lip Liner Pencil. I freaking love that lip liner. I'm obsessed. Just saying. And then for my inner rim, I went in and used Rimmel London's Scandal Eyes. And then I have Wet n Wild's Waterproof Mascara on my lower portion of my lashes. And then I also use them for the first coat on my top lashes and then I went over it with Benefit Their Real Mascara. And then for the eyeshadow, if you guys can see, I used um, the Jasmine palette. I love this. It's so pretty. And I used for the lid, I mixed together Sand in the Glass with Cave of Wonders, which is like a really pale golden yellow, and then a, like a more golden yellow gold. And then in my crease and lower lash line, I use Golden Sands and Bazaar. And kind of as my highlight um, and blending shade, I used Ala Aliababla. So I used this palette. And then for the eyeliner, if you guys can tell, I didn't connect the eyeliner all the way in the inner portion of my eye. I kind of left it on the outer portion only. And underneath, I blended it out with my MAC pencil brush. I fucking love that brush. There is an obsession with that brush for like blending out harsh lines in my eyeliner. It it really is. But um I used my Physician's Formula brown eyeliner right here and then right here and then I smoked it out cuz I really didn't want harsh lines. It just went and go with the vibe. I know, I sound like a hippie. Well, I am an Aquarius. We're like hippies. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's it for my makeup and my outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're at. Bye!